Hello guys from Front Reviews, today 14th of June and uh, unfortunately I have sad news about uh, my uh, pot uh, with beautifully fragrant uh, um, Ace Main uh, Sulfur Queen. This is uh, a, a variety of Peruvian Daffodil, a hybrid that, is, that has an incredible sweet scent that uh, really, sm it really smells like a, like a cake. It is very nice and you can actually smell it uh, from about one meter from the flower and the flowers are gorgeous, really. Nice green, uh, like whitish green, pale green with darker green stripes uh, in the middle of the tepals. And uh, it is uh, uh, kind of similar to the uh, Ace Man uh, Cross uh, Festalis uh, that I made a video uh, um, a few uh, days uh, ago. Uh, unfortunately, in my pot, uh, some slugs decided to um, eat my uh, bulbs. I was very sorry because I found half price these bulbs um, last week and I planted them, but uh, and they sprouted very soon. Unfortunately, as you can see, one of the bulbs is completely damaged, both the leaves. And also, I'm very sorry because this one actually would have been a flower. I can see, you can see actually the stamens of the uh, flower in uh, this uh, uh, part of the plant. Uh, this one has been also quite uh, uh, badly uh, damaged, uh, even if hopefully it might uh, recover. You can see the uh, external part of the leaves has been damaged and munched. However, the internal part where the leaves sprout are still uh, mostly intact and actually in the center I can hopefully see what is supposed to be the tip of a flower, so hopefully this one will bloom. This one, luckily, it has been relatively undamaged, so I hope that this, at least this, will flower together with this other one. Um, I have decided, obviously, too late to put some slug pellet against the uh, against the snails and slugs. Uh, until a few months ago it was possible to find in the UK the metal deide. There was a very terrible poison because uh, it's a, a poison that is not very selective for slugs and snails but actually uh, kills many kinds of invertebrates and uh, it is uh, really uh, terrible for the nature in uh, general. So I decided this year to go uh, to uh, well, now it's the only poison you, you, you can find uh, for uh, snails and slugs, and this is uh, a, a phos hydrated ferric phosphate. So this one basically uh, kills the slugs, but uh, it is uh, very uh, specific. It doesn't uh, uh, it's supposed not to harm the other uh, animals and as far as I know uh, is actually pretty good is also uh, allowed by the organic association and uh, it is uh, basically the ferric the phosphate ferric um, after killing the slugs if there are any transforms to basically kind of fertilizer so I'm using this one that is also sharp for shower proof I just sprout a bit homogeneously on in the pot and I hope that this will be enough to leave the remaining bulbs safe from the slugs. Another option you can do is actually uh, put some grit on the top of uh, the uh, pot because slugs really don't uh, appreciate much the contact of the grit when it's dry. However, I am watering the plant so often because this needs a lot of water uh, when, especially when they are sprouting that um, anyway the slugs will not care at all about the grit indeed. I have damaged plants in pots even with the grit so I hope that with these slug pellets the situation will be better and hopefully I will be able to show you the beautiful flowers of the Icemane uh, Sulfur Queen. Uh, as soon as they bloom, hopefully. I hope you enjoy the video and if you would like to support uh, my channel uh, it would be great if you can uh, please uh, subscribe. In this case, uh, obviously, you will get uh, updated when I publish new videos and I hope to see you in the next videos. Thank you very much and i see you next time. Bye.